This is Dutch Moyer coming to you live from the beautiful Illinois farmland on day 18 of Run Across America for Global Disciples. If there's one thing that I learned in 14 years of teaching and teaching over 1,300 kids is to challenge the kids to know why they believe what they believe. You know, as Christians, we're not Christians just because our parents are Christian. We're Christians because we have a personal relationship with Christ. And in that same way of knowing why you believe what you believe, the Bible helps you do that. Because you'll meet people in life that will ask you clever questions and help try to lead you astray. Sort of like what happened to Albert Einstein when he was in grade school. One of his professors said, hey, is there evil in the world? And all the kids innocently answered, yes, there's evil in the world. Then he said, did God create everything? And all the kids innocently said, yes, God created everything. But then what this professor did, he twisted it. And he said, if God created everything and there's evil in the world, then God must have created evil and then God must be evil, which is a total fabrication. Young Albert didn't stand for it because he knew why he believed what he believed. And we as Christians need to go to the source, go to the Bible, become knowledgeable, so we know why we believe what we believe as well, especially in Hollywood pop culture. And this is what young Albert Einstein said to his teacher. He said, Herr Professor, is there darkness in the world? And the professor says, yes, there's darkness in the world. And young Albert said, no, there's not darkness in the world. Darkness is the absence of light. You can measure the speed of light. Then Albert came at his professor again. He said, Herr Professor, is there coldness in the world? And the professor said, yes, there's coldness in the world. And a young Albert said to his professor, no, there's not coldness in the world. Coldness is the absence of heat. You can measure heat with Fahrenheit and Celsius. And then young Albert came at his professor and said, Herr Professor, is there evil in the world? And the professor said, yes, there's evil in the world. That's what I've been saying today. And young Albert came right at him because he knew why he believed what he believed. And he said, no, Herr Professor, there's not evil in the world. Evil is the absence of God's love in your heart. So I challenge you to know why you believe what you believe so you can stand firm in your faith in Christ. Also, that you can be a good friend to others who have questions. Because I found in my own life, people respond because they see a difference in your life. They want to know more about Christ because they see Him working in you. That's what Global Disciples is all about. People around the world, in India, in Ethiopia, in Asia, seeing the love of Christ in the eyes of the global disciple workers, helping them develop economic opportunities for their family. Then they ask questions. And then they share the gospel. Global Disciples shares the gospel with them. And what's special about Global Disciples is, in training these local people, then they share the good news of Christ with others in their community because they share the language, the culture, and the customs. If you would like to know more about Global Disciples, check out their website at www.globaldisciples.net. That's www.globaldisciples.net. Thanks for your support.